Hello, it's Keith from KMH Corner. How are you doing today? And as you see, I'm playing with my spider spawner. Isn't that fun? Ow! Ow! My head! My head! My head! Uh, ow! My head! My head! Uh, so we're on a Serenity server, and um, I need to make some XP farms, and guess what? This is how I'm going to do it. Yeah. That's right. We're going to fix the spider spawner. Well, it's not broken. We're just going to make it into something that's worthy. So you know, we can get lots of this. Lots of string. And lots of XP. And of course, there is another one someplace else. Uh, where that is. Let's see. Oh, uh-huh. Good. It looks like it's daytime. Um, oh, I hear more spiders. I don't know if it's... I don't think they're close enough to be able to converge them into one big horrible spider spotter of nastiness. But that one that I was just at was a regular spawner. And this one... Oh, yeah. This one's way too far away. Whee! Moo. Um... Whenever I find spawners, I just stop whatever I'm doing and dig straight up and make a pillar at the top and I know to come back and make this ladder system to make it into a normal spawner. Um, see, you can tell we're still in the... Why is it dark down there? We're still in the... Um, abandoned mine shaft thing. But this is the only one I found in here. It would be really nice if there was like another one right there. And another one right there. And an oh creeper's blast. So but this is the only one that I found. Oh, that's a torch. Um You never know. There might be more around. When I clear out the area to make this make the spawner. Uh there might be one someplace else. Let's go check real quick. I just want to make sure. There should be like a pathway here. And does this... Eh. Does this just lead back to where I was? Kinda. Oh, so there is still more of this. So there might be more uh, spiders down here. But it doesn't really matter. I am going to to work on the other one um, because at this stage I think it might be easier I don't know cave spider spawners are about as easy if not easier to deal with than the other ones but I just don't want to deal with poison right now I have yet to die on the server and I don't want to have to die from a poison blast of nastiness so um, eh, didn't think I was going to make that I will be back um, to show you how I'm going to it'd be nice also to make a nice little tunnel underground here uh, to get to the other one but I may only need one spider spawner maybe I'll set up a wool shop or a, sp a string shop downtown and spawn I hear other spiders up there so I don't know I'm thinking there might be something else going on around here um, so basically what I'm gonna do there's a basic water stream thing. I'm going to set up some stairs here, some sign here, and uh, push all the spiders over here. Then I'm going to raise them up a little bit, and I'm going to use them for either splash potions or just plain old kill them that way. All right, guys. I am back. I've uh, done some work on the spider farm. As you see, I've cleared it out. Um, it's nine by nine, as all spawners are. Put the things on top so nothing spawns on top. I'm still getting a couple of spider uh, spawns in here just because I'm being careless. But basically, um, I guess I'll do this backwards. Now, I'll do this forwards for you guys to know. Um, after your 9x9, nine nine, he put down a row of stairs here and these fences. The fences are for uh, to keep the water up there. And by the way, um, I got this design from um, 
guy named Hypnotized. I know one of the people who watches me uh, knows exactly who he is, but he's with the uh, Hermitcraft server. Um, and I was just doing a random like spider lookup type design and came across his and decided to use his and it seems I think should be working pretty well I tried it for a couple seconds and I did get a bunch of spiders so um, after the 9 by 9 you have this stairway and the fences to keep the water there and it's too wide and they kinda get stuck in this here and uh, get pushed down here sometimes they get stuck but it's not that big a deal and you have the second one just to tunnel them over here to this uh, two by two area that goes up and uh, what you do um, I'm not gonna make a tutorial on this you can go look up hypnotize and spider farm and you'll find the same exact farm but one of them formed so I put another water block there as you see it's very hard for me to get out um, Hey, come back here. Thank you. And as you see, the motion pushes you up into here. Um, then we're just going to funnel them up to the... I can go out this way. I made this because I didn't... This is just kind of a generic farm. It's not like, oh my god, the best farm ever. And it's just a generic farm so I can get some XP right now. Um, and so forth. So instead of making a place for the uh, for the drops, hey guy, come here. See, he even he even had trouble to getting out of there. So it's doing good. Um, so after you have that water uh, going this way and another one going that way, you put that just that one block there. Then the rest of these are going to be source blocks. So uh, on this side, I put a source block there and one directly next to it. And let me go get a little bit of water. I don't know if that's a server lag or my computer being weird. My guess it's the server because I deleted a whole bunch more files off my computer. Um, so then we put a couple more there. Um, that will enable the spiders. You know what, I think I'm gonna put one more. I'm not sure if this is how it is, but I'm gonna put one, can I reach it? Right there. Oh, maybe I should put another one there. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if those are needed or not. Let's see, does that ruin things? Come here, spider. Come here. Well, let me, um, I can quickly, oh, I gotta fill that up. Shoot. It might help if I add the water to the row to push them down to where I need them to be. Um, so I guess before you get rid of the torches, you may want to go like this, um, add the stream, going down, 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 hey guy, come on, there's got to be one more, there you are, don't hit me, oh thanks, that actually helped me, bye, get in there, can you get in there, or do you need help, here, how about some help? Bye. There's one more. Never be in a spawner location. Like this. But it doesn't really matter because these are spider spawners and I, get, yeah, I don't have decent, decent uh, armor. But I have good enough armor. So they, they come down here. They get stuck in that little water supply even though he sees me and he's attacking me. He would go in there better if I wasn't here. <laughs> See, after I hit him, that's what he's supposed to do. Let me uh, run in here real quick because I'm a crazy. Can you come at me, bro? 
No, so you can't even swim against the water. Which is fine. Attack me. I know you will. Thank you. So I'm getting out of here. Um, I'm gonna... I think the guy just died. Is that what I'm doing? Oh, yeah. Get rid of these. Because, um... <laughs> You're drowning the spiders if you have that there, and you don't want to be drowning these poor buggers. You want them alive. So what I'm gonna do, um, I mean, you can get splash potions, I guess, and uh, splash them, but you need a uh, good supply of gunpowder. So I've decided I'm gonna make a um, some sort of spawning trap farm for getting creepers so I can have a bunch of gunpowder and make splash po potions of harming but as you see um, this the spawner does pretty good oh and so doesn't that creeper hope that didn't blow up my uh, screw up my farm at all so after I kill these guys, um, I'm so used to having a uh, sword with two, you know, two hits to kill something. Um, I f forget that I need three to kill the creepers, so they blow up in my face like that. So yeah, uh, you can just hit them with a sword like that. And after I kill them, I just come down here and hey, and they can't really get me. I mean, they can a little bit. But it's just like a little tunnel of spiders, so that works pretty well. So again, if you're interested in making that hypnotized spider farm, look it up on YouTube. And as um, an added bonus while I was waiting, I decided to do a little more. Look at that. Oh, really? So I just showed you how to do a regular spider farm. Here is a cave spider farm. So uh, to explain this quickly, because I didn't do this on camera, it's the same nine by nine. You clean it out. So the room actually ends uh, right here. So the wall would be still here. Um, and what you do is just cut a two by, you know, nine hole in here that goes four back and that's so you can place the water stream like I did in the other side but instead of pushing them all to one edge it pushes them to the center so this is eight blocks to the center so the water stream stops right here then for the cave spiders seeing that they're one by one by one approximately I guess they fit in this little trench here and you put a water stream here and you put a second one there and it pushes them down over there uh, so let me f start filling this up uh, give you an idea of what this is all about and um, kinda strange that I'm on the Serenity server and my job that I've done so far oops let me fill these up uh, is uh, spider spawners which isn't really a Serenity type activity <laughs> But, whatever, right? We need XP farms. And I may become the, uh, the wool guru on this uh, server because now that I have two spider spawners, that means tons of wool for me. Um, oh, one thing. Put a uh, water source there. And let me, oh god, these are so hard to f swim against. And one there, and that pushes the water down there. And uh, let me get my health up because, oh, this is so hard to do. Let me get out, oh. Let me get out of there. Um, I found out when I was making this that the... When there's water in here, or even down here, you get stuck. You can't get out. So that's not a good thing at all. So, um, 
Let me get rid of these torches. Let me put one there. Um, no, there we go. I got unstuck. I may die here because that's what people do and spawners. I'm gonna hope that these are all the torches. Last time I did this, I uh, almost died and left a whole bunch of torches in there. It looks like it's done. Sorry, I'm scared of <laughs> I'm scared of these buggers. Um, so what happened was that extra stream that we put underneath pushes them underneath the rock. Let me clear this out. Even though they're supposedly not able to hit me, they still do hit me here. And that's where the stream ends. And they just like to climb up to this pole. And you can do the same thing here. Which is get poisoned. Uh, throw a potion of harming or something on them. Uh, I'm going to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with that. So those are my two spider spawners. This one was based on somebody else also, but I don't remember who it was. Um, it was an old... Oh, I lost my helmet. It was an old video, but it still worked. And what I do, I cut out this little thing. They can hit you from this corner, so I can get my XP, but I got the a hopper underneath there, so when I kill them, it goes into this chest. And as you can see, I haven't used this much, but lots of good stuff to be made. So, um, that is it with the spider spawners. Oh, come on. Yum yums. And I'm going to get out of here uh, real quick. I did find some slimes down there. So if you're on the server and you want to... Uh, and you want to find these spawners, um, just follow my path in the, the nether hub. Just look for a sign that says KMH Corner. And it follows you all the way out here. I'm going to make a better path in the future. But if you need wool, I'm going to become the wool guru because I have access to a shit ton of string. And that is a good thing. Um, and I also have the, flyer, the flower biome over there. Um, so I can have access to a whole bunch of dyes too. So I'm going to... Um, Make a, be the seller of colored wool on the server, I guess. And um, so that's basically it. I made the two spider spawners and uh, this episode. And oops, as you see, my uh, my. The color of my chat has changed because I've had 12 hours of play on the server. After 12 hours, they um, let you change the color of your chat. And after 24 hours, they let you work on spawn. So um, I'm about 12 hours away from that. So when I work, get to the spawn time, um, I have a project already made for spawn, which should be okay. Lots of dangerous guys out here. So it's been uh, really good playing on Serenity so far. Um, and so I think maybe next time we'll start working on the flat. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff trying to find me. We'll work on the, uh, maybe the flowers. We'll possibly, maybe I'll have the, the amount of time we'll work on spawn or something. But I haven't really decided... Uh, what our next project is going to be on here, but I hope you like this new series. It's here for a little while. I don't know exactly how long, but um, I plan on making a lot of friends on the Serenity server and hopefully have lots of fun. Maybe I'll be the wool uh, discount sailor, getting all your different colors of wool, and maybe I can actually start making something. 
And I hope you enjoyed the differences between the two types of spider spawners. And I will see you next week. Have a good day.